Joy Gies and Mary Lee Weber had worked together at MCI Telecommunications for three years. One day when they and some of their co-workers were having one of those meaningless conversations, they were comparing complexions and someone guessed that Gies was Italian. She said, not me, I was a Dunn, I must be Irish. Weber said her maiden name was Dunn too and said, maybe we're cousins, and they laughed. Then Geese mentioned that she was adopted and her birth mother's name was Lenore Dunn and Weber's jaw hit the floor. That was her mother's name too. They did some checking and they found out they were sisters. They had been separated by adoption 50 years earlier. Can you imagine finding out you have a sibling you didn't know about? Especially one you've been working with for years. I mean, hope you got along. But we do have brothers and sisters we forget about sometimes. Now, you're watching this most likely the day after the election, but I had to shoot it earlier in order to get it ready to post this morning. And so I have no idea what the outcome is. In fact, we may still not know as you watch it this morning. I remember the day after the 2000 election, the Care, Share, and Prayer Circle was meeting, and Carlton Morris, who usually taught it, was on vacation. And I can't remember if he asked me to teach in his place or if I just went down there to pray with him, but I remember what a tough morning it was, knowing that there was doubt about the result and that the country was coming apart over it. People seem to forget that at the end of the day, we are all Americans. We're family. And unfortunately, things have gotten worse and worse in recent years. There's anger and hostility and hypocrisy with people dividing up into camps and quick to attack anyone else as the enemy. We've forgotten that regardless of our differences, we're Americans. And if we don't work to preserve that common identity in spite of our differences, this nation will crumble from the inside. And it's especially important for us as Christians to make sure that we're examples of unity and love despite our political differences. It's great to talk politics and we need to be involved, but we have to make certain that we do it with the right attitude and not be divisive. If you're on social media, double and triple check your words before you post them. When you're talking to people, actually listen and honestly consider what they have to say and stress the need for calmness and unity. Romans 12, 18 says, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. And we're never going to agree on everything. But as Christians, we have to remember that 10,000 years into eternity, it's not going to matter who won this election. It may matter here on earth in the present, but when looking through the lens of eternity, we see things that are so much more important. Remember what we said the other week, the future of the church and the country isn't decided on election day. It's decided every other day in the way we treat and love each other. And since our real citizenship is in heaven, that's where our primary focus needs to be when we deal with the events of this world. God is still on the throne regardless of who is in the White House. God is still is on the throne regardless of who is on the Supreme Court. God is still on the throne regardless of which party controls Congress. And our mission isn't to control the government, it's to build God's kingdom. Because we have brothers and sisters that we sometimes forget about from every party and every race and every country. And we have something in common with every single person. And that's that Jesus is either living in them or he died for them. We're family because of our Heavenly Father. And my prayer is that unity and healing will start with us. Let's pray. Lord, there's so much strife in our nation right now. And we know that our biggest need is to come to you. Lord, we pray for healing and unity for our country. And we pray that it would begin with us as we talk with others and interact with them. Lord, would you help us to be examples of your love and your grace, that all of your children will become one in our love for you. Lord, make us one so that we may influence many. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.